Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing this Hot Wheels Premium Power Trip uh, Custom 72 Chevy LUV. And this one's in a really nice purple. Um, you can see this set is really cool. I just picked it up from Target a couple days ago. I also picked up this uh, Plymouth Barracuda, which I will be reviewing sometime soon. But really cool set. I definitely would recommend buying one of these cars if you saw them in store. But let's just get straight into it. Starting off, you have the uh, cover, which you can see very nice card art of the Chevy LUV doing a humongous burnout. That's with the Plymouth as well. Really cool card art for the series. One of my favorite ones. And now we can move on to the actual car. So, like I said, this car is in purple. And one of the main reasons I got it is that it wasn't really like a normal color or anything. If it was a normal color, probably when I got it, I like um, it when it's different. But uh, let's start off with the front. We're on the front. It was another main reason I bought it. I love how the front looks for this one. Amazing detail for only $5. So you can see you have the front light tampos, which are very nicely detailed and realistic. And then you also have the chrome silver surrounding them. So that's really cool looking. And then also you have the Chevy logo decal, which is actually sticking out as well. So it's textured. And then you also have the grill, which is just painted in black, but it is a little bit textured, a little bit bumpy. So that's a really cool looking front end. You also have the little front lip. So that's a really cool looking front end. Now we can see the side. And on the side, you can see the wheels are kind of tucked underneath the fenders. So that's a kind of cool looking look. Um, when you look at this thing, it almost, like starting off, it almost looks like a three-wheeler because the front wheels are kind of close together. But of course it is not. And then you also have the uh, side door, which has the silver painted door handle. So that's really cool when they added that. Um, I personally am not a big fan of these rims, but they're not the worst thing ever. And also you have this really cool decal going down the side of like kind of like a rainbowish thing. But now we can move on to the back. So on the back of this, you can see it says Chevrolet in white writing all across the back. And then also you have the rear light tampos. Really cool. I meant uh, tail light tampos, sorry. But you can see it's in three colors. You got the red slash orange. And you got more of a yellow orange. And then you have white all the way at the bottom. Really cool. And if I get close, you can see there is a license plate that says LUV. I'm pretty sure something like that. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like a California plate, if I'm correct. You also have the exhaust, which is coming down right here. Still painted purple. I would have preferred if it was um, painted silver or something. But still, really cool looking back. Now you can move on to the top, which I'll try to go out a little bit. But you can see the entire uh, bed of this truck is painted like chrome silver. Pretty cool looking. You can see the... Um, part where the wheel goes in which is also kind of cool looking and you have this little sunroof thing and the thing about most sunroofs that I always have is that they're completely flat but this one's kind of sticking up um but I'm not sure if that's intentional or not or if we just got like a messed up one a little bit but still either way pretty cool and then on the front um uh, on the hood you have part of the engine sticking out that's painted in that's uh in silver so that's really cool looking, just adds a little bit more of a drag car effect to it. But then we can move on to the bottom. And the bottom is painted like a candy purple as well. And you can see all the exhaust system down here. And it does have textured tires, so that's cool as well. Um, just a pretty plain bottom, but overall, really nice casting. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye